everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Look how ridiculous this is. We're only on part two, and the mess is already this crazy. So I just have a pile of stuff right here. I'm actually going to move the good cards we got last time over to the side so I don't risk damaging them while I do this, but I'm going to go ahead and grab eight more blister packs. We'll just uh, grab eight random ones here. So we got a Dawn fan, another Dawn fan. Uh, here's a Ho-Oh, another Dawn fan. Oh gosh, we have a Lugia. That's five, I think, right? That's five. Let's get three more. Yeah. I guess we're doing two more Dawn fans. Today is the day of the Dawn fan. Here we go. We got an Ampharos as well. So let's zoom back out, fix our camera angle, get that focus in. And I guess we'll get started, guys. Eight more Heart Gold and Soul Silver YOLO packs. This has been an awesome set so far, and I hope we can repeat yesterday's amazing luck. I just, I don't know, man. Like, just the way the art looks, the look of the uh, Ultra Rares, I love so much about this set, and it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. But let's get into our Ampharos pack. I think this might be the only Ampharos of the day that we just pulled out. So let's get that to push to the side. Do our card trick. And get into our first pack. So we have a Pokemon communication. And today's going to be a little bit quicker than yesterday because we're not going to spend so much time looking at each card since we've seen so many of them. But we have not seen that. Look how beautiful that double colorless energy is. That is awesome. We also have ourselves another Blissey. There's another Jigglypuff. Ooh, we got a Ladybug. Sandshrew. Totodile. Super Buff Sentret. Yo, Reverse Holographic Sui Art Delibird. Very nice. I don't know if you can eat him out of Delhi, but no, whatever. Maybe he's like Delivery Bird, maybe that's his name. And the last card is a Lapras. We have not seen that one. They're in some kind of cave of pee. Hmm. Well then, still pretty cool. Let's get into our first Dawn Fan pack of many. We've got, I think that, what do we get, like five of them? I think we had one Ho, one Lugia, one Ampharos, and then a bunch of Dawn Fan. And Dawn Fan gave us some good stuff last time, so maybe he'll do the same this time. Oh, I'm seeing that creepy coughing right on the front. There we go. And pack number two, we have ourselves a Skip Loom. That's another Sui Art. So very, very nice. Let me get a little bit closer there. Knock away. Oh, that's a new one. Energy. Actually, I think that's new at least. We have an Energy Switch. Got Typhlosion and Wild Buffett just chilling there. Poke Gear 3.0. There's that Coughing. Super Sad Spinarak. Growlithe. Totodile. Fan Pee. Reverse Holographic is a Girafferig, which is actually a normal type, and he is definitely showing off, showing off that butt right there. Dang. And the last card of the pack is a Persian. I'm pretty sure we had that one, so nothing too fancy there. So Dawn Fan, maybe we've exhausted all the good Dawn Fan packs already, but we still got a lot to go. Still got plenty to go. I mean, there is always the possibility that... There's no more good packs in this entire thing. Like I said, because these are YOLO packs, there's no guarantee at 12 hollows like there is for a booster box. But I think I just saw something a little bit shiny. Again, it, it's always hard to tell. That might have just been a reverse hollow, though, so we'll see. We got ourselves a Quillava. There's a Fisherman. Professor Oak's new theory. I don't know what his theory is, but it's new. Whatever it is, it's brand new. We got Jigglypuff. Execute. Vulpix. Wow, that's a nice one. Did we get that last time? I don't think we did. But they got Singe. We have a Super Buff Sentret. Okay, I think the... Oh, we have Paris. I think the next card is either going to be good or a Reverse Hollow. Oh my gosh, what is it? It is another! What the heck? We got a second Ampharos Prime. Both of them were from Dawn Fan Packs, weren't they? So now we have two of these guys. Oh, actually, at this time, I should probably mention, a lot of you guys were commenting about the lack of the... Um, card value and the reason I haven't been doing that is older cards tend to not be as valuable so it's not as exciting you know new stuff tends to be more relevant because you can still use it in the TCG and the actual competitive gameplay which makes it a lot more valuable but these older st things they're cool but I don't know it's not as exciting to be like well, look at this ultra rare that's not worth that much you know I just like it because it's cool it's rare uh, it's something that I pulled myself, but as far as value, it's, you know, really not that much. So that's kind of why I haven't been doing it. But we also have a Typhlosion to go with it. Nice. Look at him. Wow, he's just way too happy looking. Doing some little dance there, I guess. Okay, here's our Lugia pack. Let's see if Lugia will give us... Watch, watch as Lugia gives us a Ho-Oh legend. I was thinking maybe Lugia would be cool and give us a Lugia legend, but that probably won't happen. Alright. Oh, we got another Vulpix on the front. I gotta do better about not spoiling cards as we just kinda shuffle things around. Oh, there we have a Wigglytuff. I don't think we had that one last time. We have a Switch. There's a Pokeball. I think that's another one. That's like, 
The most artistic Pokeball I've seen. Normally they're just like a little 3D thing. But we have a Vulpix, of course. There's a Clefairy, which is a common for some reason. There's Meowth. Whoa, we have ourselves a Water Energy, which has a Lugia in the background, as well as the island. I think it's the Whirlpool Islands or something that Lugia is from. Very cool. There's a super awesome looking Pikachu. Dang, there's so much good art in this set, it's crazy. Uh, we have a Reverse Holographic Mill Tank. The last card is a Pichu. What the heck? Another thing, I guess the babies are just rares. Just like Clefairy and Cleffa, Pikachu is common. Pichu is the rare, so... There you go, he's got tail slap, but this guy's got sweet sleeping face. What the heck? Well, there you go. Got ourselves some, whoop, got ourselves some more rare baby Pokemon. Okay, here is a, a Ho-Oh pack for this video. Okay, Ho-Oh, give us a Lugia. Give us some dang Lugia, buddy. Please. Watch, it's gonna give us another Cleffa. I'm predicting a third Cleffa right here. Okay, so we have a Quillfish. Another one, I don't think we've seen that. It's got like a Luminion right there. I think that's what that is. Uh, Finian. There's Magikarp. So lots of cool stuff in the art there. We have Fisherman. Ooh, Parasect. Very nice. We have Ladybug. Super Squished Caterpie. Whoa, that Snubble's looking real angry. They're like coming to chew on Meowth's tail or something. Yo, look at that hop -up. That is awesome. We have Scary Copping. Reverse Holographic Ninetales, which is a rare, but I think we have this exact Reverse Holo from last time already. The last card is... a Holographic Quagsire. Nice! We actually have not gotten that many Holos. I think we've gotten just as many Ultra Rares as we've gotten Holos so far. But that's not a very... not a very, uh, aggressive looking Holo. It's just kinda... got a little subtle thing in the background there. Quagsire takes up most of the picture. But still pretty gosh dang cool. Alright, now we just have three more Donphan packs, so maybe this means we're going to have three more good, good packs, who knows? We still have so much to get through. You know, knowing my luck, the four that I picked out to save for the pack art, that I'm not going to open, those four are probably going to all have Ultra Rares inside, but we'll never know. We'll never know what's inside there, unless someone comes up with some kind of uh, see-through technology so we can just look right through. What the heck? Wait a second! Inglybuff, a baby Pokemon, that one's just an uncommon, so I guess the not all the babies are rares. They have some graffiti tactics right there. There's Pokemon Reversal, Corsola, Meowth, Chansey, Chikorita, Vulpix, Snubble. The Reverse Holographic is a Starmie. Nice. The card to go with that. What do we got? We have a Meganium. So, while it's not the uh, legend we were looking for, I don't think we have Meganium. I know we have Typhlosion. I don't know if we have for Alligator either, but... We got that guy. Two more packs to go, guys. We're getting there. But even after all this, we still have 16 more to open. We're going to do two more videos of this stuff. And the background is just going to keep getting more and more crazy. I almost threw the pack back there instead of this. I was just like, whoop. Now we got to throw that, that back there. So, Don Fan, treat us good right here, buddy. Give us something good. Because we're probably pretty low on Don Fan packs after this video. If there's even any, if there's even any more Don Fans back there. There's probably just like one or two. Alright, so we have another Corsola. As well as a beautiful Skiploom. Yo, look at that! We got a Rainbow Energy. Very nice looking. There's Drowsy with his gentle slap, the best attack ever. Cyndaquil. Sunkern. Slowpoke, which is actually kind of cool. He's like down in the Slowpoke well. You can see the ladder right there. There's an Execute. As well as a Grand Bolt to go with that Snubble. I think it's just some good old Ken Sugimori art, which... Honestly, not my favorite, but it is the classic. And to go with that, we have another Meganium. Two Meganium in a row. How about that? Oh, yeah, well. Okay, are we going to get a third Dawn Fan Pack with a third Meganium in a row? Let's find out. So we haven't gotten anything new today as far as Ultra Rares. We got a, another Ampharos. But we can't say we got no good pulls today because even if it is a duplicate, Ampharos Prime is still Ampharos Prime, right? So let's see if we can end things off with one more good one here. I've got a good feeling about this one. So what are we starting off with? We have ourselves a Pokemon Communication, as well as another one of these awesome looking double colorless energies, a Blissey, Snubble, wow, a Steel Energy. Why am I getting excited over energies, man? That is what this set does, because the art is so nice, but there's a Steelix in the background. Ah, oh, gosh, I can't recognize this area, but I'm sure it has some kind of correlation to the game. Very cool. We have a Mareep, Meryl, Execute, 
Oh, Professor Oak's new theory, theory, new theory, reverse holographic, and the last card of the video, Don Fantreat as well. What do we have? Oh my god, we got it! We got the bottom half! Oh my gosh, that is exactly what we needed! Holy crud, my hands are like shaking right now. Don Fan coming through with the whole legend bottom half. Oh my gosh, you know what? Let's get the other one out. I'm just over here getting my second one. Actually, let's take a closer look and then we'll look at them put together. But this is awesome. You can see the card actually goes like this, where it says ho oh legend right there. But we have the bottom half. And you can see the attacks. Sacred Rainbow. All energy attached to Ho-Oh Legend are fire type energies instead of their usual type. He's got Brightwing right there. There's all the stats and everything. Let's zoom back out. So here are the two cards together. Two cards, one picture. There you go. That is awesome. That is like the perfect last card to get. I was going to be so sad if we got a second top half, but no, we got it perfectly. We got both halves, and we still have two videos to go. We still have a chance of getting another one of these. We have a chance of getting a Lugia as well. I am excited, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my goodness. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.